you guys today we have the Reflex 14B. Um, it's a new, um, I guess like a re-release by Team Associated. It's a 114 scale buggy. Um, if you got the box, and go over the features I have and get up out of here, guys. So you got your radio, guys, 2.4 gigahertz, XP120. Again, if you're dealing with uh, DR10s, most of the Team Associated cars, that's what you get. It is a two-channel radio system, foam steering grip. Have all your trims here. You have your reverse trims up front, up top here. Um, low battery LED right down on the top. All right. So again, you have your throttle trim, and this is your EPA stand trim and EPA as well. On and off switch right here. Trigger right here, and then your battery on the bottom for double A's. Pretty good feel uh, for the radio. I, w I wish they at some point will change the radio system up, but hey. If it works, it works, all right? Okay. And then you get your manual. You get a little bind plate when rebind the uh, receiver. Again, XP120 instruction manual, guys. Pretty uh, thick packet here. Got information on this inside. Get some extra pieces here. Look like a spur gear. Um, look like some shock caps. Um, bottom end. Uh, spur gear cover. Servo. Um horn stuff here as well then you have your manual you have extra strap here you have your esc uh, brushless esc manual um you have some servo horns right here a little tool um manual here all right again let's put that stuff to the side can't tap later but this right here is what you want to look at guys so for me the picture doesn't do it justice um looking at it in person i really like it i really love this color scheme guys um, really powered again, the reflex uh, 14 uh, B. Definitely loving the color scheme on this, guys. All right, I've had the buggy a while ago. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I set the camera up. All right, guys, so this is the new um, the RC8 um, B4E gamma styled a molded body. All right. So, again, definitely a different um, look from what I've seen from the buggies. I really like this um, color scheme here, guys. Um, you get a high torque servo. Uh, you get a 4500 kV brushless motor. Um, water resistant, um, high power brushless um, speed control. Um, you got three sealed differentials. The other ones I have, they're not sealed differentials. This one, they are sealed. So you gotta go ahead and put your lube in there, your diff lubes, and uh, tune this buggy even better. Threaded coilover shocks uh, looks to be plastic. Um, I can double check that, guys. Um, adjustable cast inner casters, aluminum steering um, rack, a front uh, universal drive shaft, motor tub chassis, aluminum center drive shaft on this guy. All right, just want to kind of give you a little close up on it. You see the profile of the tires, get the shocks. Again, it is plastic. Bring it around. See the profile on this guy. Really liking this buggy, guys. Nothing like this buggy. Imagine putting a nice little system in here. We'll run with the stock system to see what it looks like. It runs like so let's go ahead and put the body off all right and it's a different layout of what i've seen before again brush this motor um maybe it's a 2s um esc here come with t-style plugs got your um servo here the receiver is actually underneath the on and off switch right here the receiver all right you got a sealed up um center drive shaft um again uh, sealed diffs as well you have your battery tray here, which also is adjustable as far as like you have two positions to put the um, body pin in to raise it higher or lower. And they also give you an option for a battery strap. Okay. Got a nice little bracing back here. Plastic tub chassis, uh, adjustable camber and tow. Um, really nice wing here. Has some good flex. Has a little play between the spacer and the clip. So hopefully that helps with any breakages on it. See the back of it. Definitely really like this little buggy. 
And then for the shocks, it's only two positions on the top. The bottom is fixed. Um, I guess you can adjust the, um, the servo horn, um, the arm, if you need to as well. All right. And in the back, it looks like you have three adjustable, adjustability in the top for the rear shock. All right. Again, just a quick little overview, guys. Um, we'll not have a running video today, but hopefully in the next day or two, I'm able to get a running video of this buggy in a complete stock form. I will um, put a 2S LiPo in it and run it. Maybe do a speed, see how fast it is, and just sell some cones, have some fun um, with it. Again, a quick little um, unboxing, guys. I want to thank you guys for stopping by the channel, checking it out. And again, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.